Okay, Assalamualaikum. Nasa pagi semua student. Alright. So today you will learn about lab room number four. So this lab number four, you have to do the reports. Okay. So I will show the guideline how you do the reports. So please, uh, all the notes and uh, material inside there, uh, you feature. So please open your course content. Right. So we start now. Okay, first of all, is your formatting for lab reports. Okay. Right, number one, OA, all the lab report must be handwriting. Okay, which means this today, today lab report, awak kena tulis tangan eh, right? The lab report must use the front cover given at the end of these instructions. Diagrams, tables, and a figure must be appropriately labeled. Each student is required to write an individual lab report for each experiment. So which means have your, you have to done that. Report individually, okay. So they are format for your lab reports. Please follow the sequential, okay. Ikut rutan, eh. All right, number one, you must have a title. Number two, objective of this experiment. Introductions. Materials, okay, such as reagent and apparatus that you use in the experiment. Procedure, so procedure must be written in the past tense. Why? Because you already done the experiment okay or third person language number six expected result number seven since we we don't do the experiment so i i will let you all of you to do the expected result for this experiment eh? number seven done the discussion so each of the results must have the discussion part okay so eight conclusion of the experiment refer back to your objective and last one, you must have a references. At least three references, eh? but not taken from the lab manual. Which means you have to taken from other materials such as journals, books, and so on and so forth. Eh? So to write your references address, you have to use the APA style. Okay, APA style writing eh? okay so search eh? apa maksud APA style writing ni eh? okay. so uh, don't search eh? APA style writing on your references okay so is there any question is there any question about your formatting Ada soalan tak? No. Okay. Okay. Continue. And then, you have to submit your lab reports. Okay. So, since you're doing it by your hands, please take a picture of your lab reports. Okay. And then, convert the picture to PDF as one file. Right. And then, you have to submit to your lectures, uh, mana saya lah, okay, in a designated online platform. So we were using a Google Classroom. So semua lihat report, tolong hantar dalam Google Classroom. So please make a folder for that, eh. Folder for your name and your reports. Okay. Alright, so uh, I already uh, provided your front pages. So guna front pages yang ada dekat sini, eh. So saya dah masuk kalau you feature, so this is your front pages for your reports, individual report eh. Okay. So apa yang dekat situ, so so only lab 4, colorimetric test for carbohydrate will be your reports. Okay, so hanya buat lab report 4 je. Okay. So please use this front pages. Put your name there, student ID, okay, or metric number, and then your groups. Okay, the date for submission of all, sorry, uh, for this report is before 4th of December 2020. Okay, saya ulang, untuk awak hantar dari report ni, mesti sampai ke dalam Google Form, sorry, Google uh, Classroom sebelum 4 December. Okay, so the marks will be given accordingly with the objective, title and introduction, experimental procedure. 
result or expected result eh? data figure graph and tables okay discussion conclusion and references so in our uh, manual they are what we call post lab question so in other uh, kalau tak ada pun kita akan saya akan bagi tahu dalam powerpoint nanti alright the apa tu the procedure of this experiment okay ataupun the uh, summarize of this experiment eh okay So total mark will be 10% in each of your lab reports. Okay. All right, then question before we continue our briefing today. So ada soalan lagi tak? No, sir. Okay, kalau tak ada, kita sambung lagi untuk no. kita punya lab, right? Okay, now please open your uh, manual, eh? let manual. Alright, so today we learn about laboratory number four, calorimetry, eh? test for carbohydrates. Okay, so introduction, eh? carbohydrate is a class of organic molecules with the general form which is what we call CNH2O, okay, bracket N. Okay, N means anything, eh? N can be uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, or 1, eh? okay. N is a normal number. Eh? So the basic, so the basic carbohydrate units are called monosaccharides, okay. So carbohydrate is one of the biomolecules. There are numerous, numerous different types of monosaccharide which differ in their numbers of carbon atoms and the arrangement of H and O atoms attached at the carbons. Monosaccharide are linked together by the glycosidic bond to form oligosaccharide and polysaccharide. Okay, several colonometric tests have been devised to detect members of this biological significant class of compounds. Okay, compound so yang terdiri daripada uh, carbohidrat lah ataupun monosaccharide, right? This, be, this test will utilize a test reagent that yield a color changes after reacting with a specific functional groups, okay? So what's mean of special functional group? So functional group can be amine groups, okay? Hydroxyl groups ataupun carboxyl group, right? Are the compound being tested? The following exercise are reaction that can detect the presence or absence of carbohydrate in the test solutions. They range in the specificity to the barrel to the very generals. Okay. So there we call objective in this experiment to use the following qualitative test to distinguish specific sugar from each other. Okay, walaupun awak ada laboratory manual ni, tapi in terms of you doing the lab report, tolong summarizekan ataupun make a create creative one eh, right? So, jangan tiru bulat-bulat dalam laboratory manual ni, okay? So, that one is where mark for your creativity and do something new. Okay, method number one, we're doing a test one, Benedict test. At 1.0 of sucrose, sucrose, eh? sucrose is one example of monosaccharide solution to a 1 ml of Benedict reagents. Okay, and then you have to heat in the boiling water for 5 minutes. Okay, so please repeat with other monosaccharide such as glucose. Okay, so here is uh, the result, expected result eh? for this experiment. A brick red precipitate will be present as a positive test for all reducing sugar. Okay, what's the meaning of reducing sugar? A sugar that can have a functional group that can join other monosaccharide to make a bond. Okay, that's the meaning of reducing sugar. Alright, continue. Number two, we are using a 
experiment, what we call Bafford test. Okay. So A, we need about 1 mil of sucrose solution to 1 mil of Bafford reagents. Keep in a boiling water bath for 10 minutes. So you have while heating, you have to write down the changes in every three minutes. Okay, that, that, that's what we call an expected result in each of the three minute experiment interval times. Okay. So you have to report it on your reports. And then same goes to the glucose and lactose, others monosaccharides. So the expected result from here, a copious amount of brick red precipitate indicates a reducing monosaccharides. Hydrolyze of disaccharide may lead to the trace of precipitates. Okay. So kita ada monosaccharide, kita ada disaccharide. So monosaccharide is a loan of sugar. Disaccharide means two monosaccharides were combined to be ones or disaccharide. Okay. One will be cell one of test. Okay, so we need one mil of glucose. Add it with the one mil of cell one of reagent. You have to heat with the boiling water bath for five minutes. Repeat the same procedure with other monosaccharide, such as fructose. Okay, so the expected result here is you can get deep red color, precipitate, which is indicate is a keto hexose. Hexose means six carbon ring. Keto is one type of monosaccharide on carbohydrates. Other sugar will give red color upon prolonged heating. So kalau kita panaskan dengan lama, awak akan dapat warna lain juga. Warna merah saja, bukan deep red eh. Test 4 will be bile test. Add 1 mil of sucrose solutions to 1 mil of bile reagents. Heat in a boiling water bath for 2 minutes. Okay. And then do the same procedure with others. Monosaccharides such as arabinose and glucose. Okay. If, if they are the blue-green color obtains, it indicates the pentose or 5 ring carbon. Give it yellow green, it will show you hexose and disaccharide are yellow. Okay, this all are expected result for the experiment ataupun test number four, bio test. Okay. Right, there are what we call post question here. So you have to put in your report also. So number one, if a sample being tested give a positive result for Benedict test and Buffett test, then what will the sample be? It will be given you one marks. Name the suitable test to distinguish a pentose and exose, an aldose exose and a ketose exose. Okay. Number three, identify the brick rate precipitate in a Benedict test. So this one you have to know about the chemical formulation inside the experiment. Name the bond involved when the disaccharide is hydrolyzed. Okay. All right, is that a question before we continue our principle of the experiment? Okay, so then, so we're going to the segment yang ketiga. Tak ada, right? Tak ada, sir. Okay, so continue with our uh, principle of this experiment, eh? Okay. All right, we go for the laboratory four colorimetric test for carbohydrates. Okay, objective for this very month, okay, to use the following qualitative test to distinguish specific sugar from each other. Okay, the principle behind the experiment, okay, number one, carbohydrate is what? Eh? It's a polyhydroxyl aldehyde and a ketone or 
substance that hydrolyze to yield polyhydroxy aldehyde and ketone so there are two types of carbohydrate which is aldehyde and ketones okay aldehyde is what okay and ketone is what right which is constitute the major groups in carbohydrates okay so carbohydrate are mainly divided into monosaccharide with a monomer disaccharide mean dimer and polysaccharide is a polymer okay so what types of monosaccharide it is glucose fructose galactose and ribose so all is a monomer for carbohydrate when the two monomer or monosaccharide combine there will be a sucrose lactose and maltose so the form will call disaccharide kalau satu monosaccharide kalau dua disaccharide more than two we call it a polysaccharide right so the structure example of glucose it is six carbon okay rings right all right method number one okay so a free aldehyde or keto groups in the reducing sugar reduce the cupric hydroxide in alkaline medium to the red color copious oxide so it depending on the concentration of sugar yellow to green color is developed all monosaccharides are reducing sugar as they are all have a free reactive carbonyl groups so why is carbonyl groups carbonyl group is a one example of functional group so why we need functional group to make a bond possible okay to make a bonding between two molecules okay for example monosaccharide with another monosaccharide some disaccharide or two monosaccharide yang bergabung ni we call it maltose have exposed carbonyl group and are also what we call a reducing sugar but less reactive than monosaccharide so the procedure we add one mil of sucrose okay and then mix with the one mil of benedict reagent boil it for five minutes same goes to glucose so the same observation you will get a brick red precipitate which is indicate a positive test for reducing sugars okay what happened inside it okay the summary of the process eh? okay any sugar that contain the hemiacetal is a reducing sugar okay so for our purpose here sugar refer to mono and disaccharides not complex carbohydrate like starch or glucose glycogen and glucose okay so recall the difference between hemiacetal and acetals okay this one uh, kita akan belajar dalam chapter chapter carbohydrate nanti eh? alright so now awak baca je lah apa yang ada dekat sini eh so apa masuk hemiacetal dan sebagainya okay so ada test yang kita guna dalam yang ada cuprum seperti benedict test, failing solution okay ataupun Argentum eh, or tolerant test. Semua ni boleh detect kita punya reducing sugar. Okay, there we call another sugar without the non-reducing sugar. Okay, for example, we using a this one eh, sucrose. Sucrose tak ada kumpulan reducing sugar bila dia bergabung. Okay, so why is this important? The important of test for quantifying the blood glucose relief on a reaction where they cuprum is reduced by the aldehyde and resulting in the color changes okay so kenapa kita pakai eksperimen eh untuk kita detect blood glucose dalam badan okay alright method number two buffer test buffer test used to detect presence of monosaccharide sugar in solution so buffer region a mixture of ethanoic acetic acid and copper triacetate which is combined with the test solution and boiled so a red copper to oxidize precipitate in form will indicate the presence of reducing sugar. So bila ada reducing sugar, kita akan, dia akan bergabung dengan red copper. Dalam ni ada red copper, acetic acid pun ada. So copper ni dalam bentuk red copper, dia akan detect dengan reducing sugar dan menyebabkan kita dapat warna merah. So reaction will be negative in the present disaccharide sugar because they are weaker reducing agent. This test is specific for monosaccharide ok, kalau kita guna buffer adalah spesifik untuk monosaccharide, bukan disaccharide due to the weakly acid, acidic nature of buffer region, it is reduced only by the monosaccharides ok, 
So same procedure yang saya beritahu tadi, okay, we put 1 ml of sucrose solution and mix with the 1 ml of buffer region, okay, we have to boil it about 10 minutes. So each of time or interval time with 3 minutes, you have to record the result. So please find the expected result on there to write your experiment report, okay. So same goes to the glucose and lactose. Okay, so expected result from here, you will get a copious amount of brick rate precipitate, which is indicate the reducing monosaccharide. But in the saccharide, kita dapat juga eh. But the saccharide, kita kena hydrolyze dulu. Kita akan dapat trace precipitate. So what trace precipitate? Still lagi kita akan dapat brick rate precipitate yang sedikit. Okay. So method number three, sell one of test. Okay. So, uh, dalam picture ni, kalau awak tengok kat sini, there are two types of monosaccharides. Okay, there will be aldose and ketose. Okay, so CO ni represent the carbonyl group. So, this carbonyl group is differ between two types of monosaccharide. Okay, because of the presence of the places. So, aldose, carbonyl group dia dekat ujung. Okay, kalau ketose, carbonyl group dia berada di tengah-tengah ring ke ataupun structure of monosaccharides. It is a coloration specific for ketose when concentration which is acid hydrochloric is added. Ketoses undergo dehydration to yield fulfural derivative more rapidly than aldose. Okay. So what is fulfural? Fulfural ni bentuk macam ni. Risocinol. Ni bentuk dia. Fulfural ni. Okay. So this derivative is complex with resistonol to yield deep red color. The test reagent caused the dehydration of the ketosexose to form 5-hydroxymethyl fulfural. Okay, resinol ni akan bergabung dengan kita punya uh, ketos dan membentuk what we call fulfural. Kalau resinol bergabung dengan kita punya ketos, kita akan dapat 5-hydroxymethyl fulfural. Okay, example of ketose adalah kita punya fructose. Okay. So, apa yang akan berlaku? Test region to produce a red production within 2 minutes. <coughs> so, although exhaust red, so more slowly to form the same production. Okay. So, although exhaust ataupun kita punya glucose, still lagi akan menghasilkan result dia. Tetapi, lambat. Okay. Sebab pembentukan fufura dia lambat sikit. Okay. So how you do this experiment? Number one, you have to put one ml of glucose. So example of aldose, eh, kita punya glucose. Example of fructose adalah kita punya ketose. Okay. Kenapa dia panggil fructose kan bagi aldose, eh, glucose? Because of the presence of carbonyl group here. Okay. So dua-dua ni memang monosakara yang sama. Eh. Let's say there are six ring of carbon. Fructose pun 6 ring of carbon juga. Okay. And then you have to put 1 ml of cell 1 of that uh, regions. Hold, heat in boiling water for 5 minutes. Okay. And then repeat test with the fructose. Okay. So what the result you will get from here. Okay. You get the deep red color. Precipitate. Mendakkan eh. Okay. Macam uh, particles. So, if it happen, they are what we call ketohexose. Keto, this is structure. Hexose, 6 carbon. Okay. So, this ketohexose will combine with the resocinol momentum, 5 hydromethyl fufural. So, this 5 hydromethyl fufural akan menyebabkan kita dapat warna merah. Other sugar give red blood color juga upon prolonged heating. For example, our aldose monosaccharide. Ataupun glucose. Okay. Okay, biotest used to distinguish between pentose and hexose. So, pentose is our 5 carbon ring. Ataupun hexose adalah kita punya 6 carbon ring. Okay, hexose can be our glucose and fructose. Okay. So pentose is our ribose. Okay. They react with the bile region and are converted to fufural juga. Okay. 
So we use what we call osinol, and furfural will condense in the presence of ferric ion to form a colored product. Okay. So osinol akan bergabung dengan furfural. Furfural ada juga dalam exos dan juga pentos. Sebab apa uh, furfural? Eh? Sebab kita memang ada kumpulan karbonil tu. So bila bergabung dia akan bentuk banyak color, eh? right? There's a lot of color here. There you will get accordingly with the samples. Appearance of green color of precipitate indicate the presence of pentose. Formation of muddy brown precipitate show the presence of exos. Okay. So how do you do? One mil of sucrose solution to one mil of bile reagents. Heat in a boiling water bath for two minutes. Repeat the same procedure with arabinose and glucose. Okay. So expected result observations: a blue green color indicate pentose. A yellow green color indicate exos, and yellow, just yellow, will indicate the disaccharide. Okay. So for further of your uh, your experiment here, you have you can see the lots of video in YouTube's. Okay, one of it you can just click on this uh, presentation. Eh? Okay. Okay, uh, there what we call a same uh, question inside the postlet question inside your manuals. Okay. Okay, there we call uh, formatting for the lab report. So only lab, only lab four will be your lab reports will be examined. Okay, another video from uh, labs of Amrita. You can see how they do the process of colorimetric test for carbohydrates. Okay. Okay, is there any question before I leave it to you to do your own works for lab reports today? Is there any question? Okay, soalan sebelum kita tamatkan kita punya briefing hari ni. Kena lab dan sebagainya. Ada tak soalan? Tak ada, sir. Tak ada? Uh, sir, 